Welcome to Sumeri P. What is buckwheat flour and why do I bake with buckwheat? So even though it's got wheat in its name, it's not a wheat flour, it's actually gluten free. This little buckwheat kernel kind of looks a weird colour, it's kind of like a greyish greenish colour. And then when you have the flour in the box, the one I get is like a, a grey colour. So there's a few different brands in the UK, I get it from Dove's Farm, you can buy it at Holland and Barrett. And there's also this Emissa brand. So it looks like that. It's got slightly nuttier flavour than um, regular flour. So it is a distinct taste. So some people don't like it, but I kind of like making my buckwheat cakes taste normal. I don't, I'm not a vegan and I'm not a super healthy freak. So I still like to use butter and sugar and normal things, but I like baking with buckwheat flour instead of gluten-free flour. And I, often make my recipes that are 100% buckwheat, uh, maybe with a little bit of almond flour or almond meal, but I don't like using tapioca or any of those other kind of flours. Some of the health benefits, it's uh, low GI, it's low on the FODMAP if anyone, um, especially in Australia, is following a low FODMAP diet. What else is in my little notes here? Did I say it's packed full of vitamins and nutrients? It's got copper, manganese, iron, phosphorus, and magnesium, high in proteins, high in vitamins B17, and it's low carbs. I'm not a nutritionist, but I have a, I've been kind of baking with a healthy uh, focus for over 20 years. For about 10 years in Australia, I was gluten intolerant. I wasn't celiac, but I had a lot of side effects. So I started experimenting with different flours and then I ended up um, loving both spelt flour and buckwheat flour. So they're my main two flours that I use. I can tolerate a little bit of wheat flour now, but I kind of find that my body soon gives me signals to say that I've had too much. So that's why I like baking with buckwheat flour. What else can I tell you about buckwheat flour? Oh, if you have heard of buckwheat galettes, they're really famous in France. France have been baking with buckwheat for many, many centuries. Even though I say it's naturally gluten-free, just check the source of where you're buying it from. This one's an organic one, this Amissa brand, and it says on the packet, organic gluten-free. Some of them don't state that it's 100% gluten-free. So if you've got anyone in your family or your friends that you're baking for and they're celiac, just be 100% certain that the box or the packet you're using is certified gluten-free. What else can I tell you? Okay, a few other fun things. So in German, they call buckwheat flour Buchweizen. In Italy, they call it Grano Saranceno. In Sweden, it's called Buvette, if I've said that correctly. French is Saransin and in Japan, it's soba. You might have heard of soba noodles. They're made from buckwheat. Who would have thought? So if you like to check out some of my favorite buckwheat recipes, I'll put some links up here. I've got a cake that I developed three different ways. So it tastes semi-normal. It's an apple carrot or a banana cake made with buckwheat flour. There's a traditional um, Italian cake that I've made into little cupcakes. There's a crepe recipe. There's a pancake recipe. I've got so many. I love buckwheat. So if you're new today and you've never heard of buckwheat flour, I hope you've enjoyed this and share it with a friend. Hit the thumbs up and let me know what you like baking with buckwheat flour. Just one more tip for my UK viewers. I'll put a link to all of the places that I buy buckwheat from over at my website, sumeripea.com. So if you're curious about where to buy buckwheat flour from, you can find out from there. And if anyone else out there has more tips on buckwheat, let me know. I might have missed something. Anyway, see you next time. Bye.